Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. As you can see here, I have a new bub. This is the newest baby that I just completed. This is Chase by Bonnie Brown. I'm just gonna get right into it. I just finished this photo, so as you can see, he's all nicely wrapped. Um, and this beautiful blue um, material. It's really, really, really nice. Um, I got this somewhere in the States from an actual like photography place. It was it wasn't uh, cheap, but but I love the effect of it in uh, photos. So of course, you guys, as you guys know, this is Chase by Bonnie Brown. This is a COA, and of course, he is an open edition. It's the back, and this is the baby's birth certificate. He was born today. At, he's twenty one inches. He weighs five pounds and four ounces, and I'm the artist, of course. So, let's start with his little feet. <laughs> I love, I love how he turned out. He's turned out so sweet. He's got that beautiful, like, deeper, a little bit deeper, um, newborn skin tone. He's not overly red, but he's got si still some reds in his, in him, which I really love. Um, he's not as red as Amara, but he is still pretty red. Uh, like, you know, not completely, but see, it's my skin with him. So he's lightly, and he kind of has the same skin tone as me. It's got almost like that little bit of a tanner skin tone. So these are his little feet. You can see his blues here. You can see the dry skin I added to him. Um, I added all over his feet. I also added a little bit on his arms, um, but you can see it right there. And you can see the little heel prick on one of these feet. Where is it? There it is, right there. You can't really tell the details um, in the camera, but in person, so different. And that's his little nails, lightly tipped. I only lightly tip them. Babies have barely any nails, so I don't really tip them like crazy. And then you can see his skin tone veining. You can even see some of the mottling. And it's got a beautiful skin texture. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a mix. I use a, a mix um, of varnishes to get this effect. And then his little arm. Beautiful arms. And then his little fingers, his little hands. I didn't give him any dry skin on his like hands this time. I just, and then you see his little nails. Um, and he's got more red hands and red feet than the rest of his body. I didn't give him a lot of like dry skin this time, but I wanted to give him some dry skin. But I did give him a little bit of dry skin right here. Just a little bit of an effect on his arm. Because babies sometimes don't have dry skin on all even places, but they have some places where it's, you know, peeling, but some places where it's not. And then his little face, guys. Oh my God, I just love him so much. You can see all the texture on his face. Oh, look at that texture. I love texture on a baby. It looks so realistic. And he's got beautiful. I gave him longer lashes, which I really, really love it. So I rooted it with, um, I used, um, I mono-rooted his lashes with, um, oh gosh, what's the name of the hair now? Delta Dawn in medium brown. So, and then you can see he's got capillaries in his ears and he's got some gloss in his ears as well. You can see his lips and you can see inside his mouth is uh, gloss. I gave him a lip blister as well. Right there, a little lip blister. I did an open faux nose, I gloss inside of his nose. I gave him some uh, milia all over his nose, all the way into the inner corners and up here where his like, in between his brows. Um, I gave him some capillaries on his eyelids. I gave him like a little stork bite, like a little mark right there on his eye as well, like little stork bites. There's another one right there. Some of them are deeper on his face than other ones are. I also gave him a little scratch right here, as you can see there. And I also gave him a little scratch right here on his ear as well. So you can see right there. He is so realistic, guys. I love him so much. And of course, his hair is painted. I painted his hair 
I'm really loving how my painted hair is coming out along. It's a lot of practice, but it's turning out really nice. It looks super realistic. Like, I can't even tell if it's rooted. It looks really nice. And it's in a medium brown shade. I added many colors to achieve this tone. Not just one color. I used, I did at least three to four layers of painted hair to achieve this layer. I mean, to achieve this color and this depth. Even though I gave him more of a baby uh, painted hair, like not as thickly painted, still took me f four layers to do that. And then I also gave him some brows, painted on brows. And I gave him some lanugo. As you can see, he's got some hairs above his eyebrows. He's got some hairs um, going down his forehead and over here by his eyebrows. Maybe you guys can see that. Some you can see, some you can't really see. And they're not supposed to be super um, apparent because they're supposed to be look more like baby peach fuzz. But I really love how he turned out. He's so sweet, guys. He turned out really beautiful. And, of course, I glossed him in all the right places. I gave him more, like, thin look on his eye eyelids. But, yeah, I'm going to show you the back of his hair. And you can see some parts he has thicker painted hair. And other parts right here, I gave it more of a, a faint look. Because the like, hair is not normally all thickly around normal times. You have, like, babies have kind of, like, thinning out places. It looks more realistic like this. And you have this area on the side. And then there's the back of the baby. And I gave him a little swirl. Going all the way to the back. I'm going to move him, guys, so you can, can see the back of his head. Oh, it's so hard to do with one hand. He is also a little bit on the heavier side. There's, this, I just love this hair. It turned out so nice. I'm happy. I'm happy with his hair. And then, of course, I gave him a little bit of comb. He didn't need much. I just wanted to give him a little bit of a strip of a hair. I wish it would focus. There you go. You can see it's slightly a little bit darker, but it just gives it that extra 3D effect. Oh, and I also added um, a texture medium on his head as well. So I used two different mediums. His face was varnished um, with two different mediums, and his head was varnished with a different medium, which gives it a 3D effect. So I don't know if you guys can see it. But it has like some like invisible lines. Like you can see right there. That just gives it that. See, you can see it in the sun. Right there, those lines. That's to give it that extra 3D effect. He also has it on his. See, you can see right there. If I could just focus. Yeah, of course it won't focus. <sighs> yep, see, there you go. You can see those lines. That's the, the medium that will protect the paint. Um, and that also is a final finish and it gives the baby an extra realistic look. If I can just, oh my God, he's so heavy guys. With one hand, he's heavy. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love my new little bub that I just completed. Again, he is not available. He's reserved. Someone reserved him. So he will be leaving the nursery most likely at the end of this month. Maybe sooner. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, take care. Bye, guys.